Hi there, Smart Drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about school buses. And yes, school buses, which are prolific in North America, Australia, and other countries don't have yellow school buses. Now, just before we get started here, if you're working towards a license or starting a career as a truck or bus driver, be sure to hit that subscribe button right about there. And that way you'll get access to all of the great information as I get it available to you. Yellow school buses in North America, it is the law that you must stop for a school bus when it is taking on or lighting passengers and the red flashing lights are activated. If you don't stop, there is a very, very stiff penalty. Six points on your license in most jurisdictions and a very stiff fine. And bus drivers and eyewitnesses can report drivers that try to pass a school bus during the time that it is stopped and taking on or lighting passengers and in this day and age i don't understand why anybody would try to pass a school bus when the red lights are activated especially with prolific dash cam use uh, you'd be more than likely to be caught on somebody's dash cam because i have a dash cam in my vehicle and i just let it run all the time simply because of the videos that i make about teaching students how to pass a road test and learning how to drive so uh, it's very easy for police to get people and to convict drivers in a court of law because uh, the laws surrounding not stopping for school buses reflects the values of our society and children are our most precious cargo and when drivers do that sort of thing it is simply malicious and the courts are intolerant to drivers passing school buses. So. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about school buses and the laws surrounding school buses. So stick around, we'll be right back with that information. drivers welcome back rick with smart drive test talking to you today about school buses particularly yellow school buses which are prolific in north america as i said in the introduction they don't have them in other parts of the world and i can remember my uh, wife from australia was quite fascinated with yellow school buses when she came here because it is one of the cultural landmarks of North America. Now, just saying that in relation to driving, when school buses are traveling along highways and come to a stop to either pick up or alight passengers, you must stop when the red flashing lights are activated. The only time that you don't stop for a school bus is on a divided highway that is divided by a physical barrier. Uh, whether it's a concrete barrier or it's a berm, a built up pile of earth, or a physical nature strip divided by trees or something like that. On most divided highways, which is most of the places where you're going to find school buses, you must come to a stop. Now, most modern school buses all have the same technology on them, more or less. In some of the US states, uh, they'll have strobe lights on the top of the school bus, which will attract your eyes because our eyes are attracted to light and movement, especially those flashing lights, which are kind of annoying. So it gets your attention and draws your eyes into the fact that there is a school bus operating on that roadway. As well, in addition to the red flashing lights, there are yellow or amber flashing lights that warn you that the bus is about to come to a stop. And these will be activated uh, a few hundred yards or a few hundred meters before the actual stop. And then once the bus comes to a stop, the red lights will activate. As well, all modern school buses have retracting stop signs on the side of the vehicle. And the stop sign is a conventional red eight-sided stop sign that has two flashing lights on it to indicate to other traffic that you have to come to a stop in both directions, not just behind the bus, but also in front of the bus. And the other addition to modern school buses is what's kind of funny is the cattle guard on the front of the bus, which forces the path of travel of the students out farther in front of the bus. The reason for the cattle guard and forcing the students out farther in front of the bus is so that the driver can see the students down in front of the bus because unfortunately there have been some close calls and incidences where the driver has moved off and the students are still standing in front of the bus. So that's the reason for that guard on the front of the bus is to move the students out farther and the driver of the bus is able to see the students down on uh, the roadway there as they're crossing in front of the bus and crossing the roadway. So know that, that if you're behind the vehicle and it takes a moment for the students to sort of appear on the road there, that's the reason because they, they're taking a farther path, a longer path to travel around the front of the bus. 
As well, when you're traveling on rural roads and highways, uh, you're going to find school buses there during school hours, before, just before school hours as they're transporting students to and from school. So in the morning between sort of 7 o'clock in the morning, maybe quarter to 7 in the morning to 8 o'clock, and then in the afternoon from sort of 2 to 5 in the afternoon are the most prevalent times during the school year that you're going to find school buses. Now, in the laws and regulations, it says that you must stop for a school bus any time that they've stopped and activated the red overhead lights and the sign has come out, the stop sign on the side of the school bus. So it's not just those times before school starts and after school, but also any time during the day that a school bus is stopped with the red lights activated, you must stop for the school bus. Now, as I said in the introduction, the fines for attempting to pass a school bus are stiff indeed and most of the time if you're uh, prosecuted by the police and uh, called to court for court action against you it is unlikely that you're going to be acquitted because this is a one of seen as one of the most heinous traffic violations uh, it's right it's it's probably even worse than drunk driving so it's unlikely that you're going to be acquitted if you are uh, called to court to face a driving charge for passing a school bus. And as I said, uh, the first instance, the fines are very high, uh, lots of demerit points. I think in Ontario, you're allowed 15 demerit points. So you get six points the, on the first offense. And then on the second offense, you can uh, face jail time. And uh, as well, the driver of the school bus can act as an eyewitness and other traffic on the road and as i said in the introduction most people in this day and age are running dash cams in their vehicles so know that it's unlikely uh that you're going to get away with this if you do pass a school bus and i just i simply can't it just boggles my mind because it's not you're not saving very much time now as you can see here in the footage when you just come up you just stay back from the uh the school bus uh you want to stay back quite a distance you know five or six car lengths because you don't need to be right up on the school bus uh, and give yourself lots of distance because it is a larger vehicle and that will allow you to see around the vehicle and see where the children are are in the students and those types of things getting on and off the bus so allow yourself a good distance in front and behind the vehicle the regulations in some jurisdictions say uh, 20 meters or 60 feet which is about three or four car lengths so stay back a good distance when the bus does come to a stop and no you know there's going to be areas where the buses are going to be more prolific and it's more likely that you're going to find school buses so just sort of keep that in mind when you're traveling in rural areas and the other thing is is oftentimes uh, there will be cautionary signs uh, that will warn you that there are buses uh, school buses operating in the area picking up and letting off students so that's a bit of information about school buses. Quick review of stopping for school buses, taking on and alighting students who are going to school. Yellow school buses, prolific in North America, they don't have them in other parts of the world. All modern school buses will have uh, yellow amber lights that will warn you that the bus is about to come to a stop. It has red flashing lights and when the red flashing lights are, in, are activated, you, traffic in both directions must come to a stop. As well, there's a retractable stop sign with two red flashing lights on it on the side of the bus that will activate as well and there's a cattle guard in the front that forces the children out farther in front of the bus so that the driver can see the children as they're crossing in front of the bus. The only time that you don't have to come to a stop for a bus alighting and uh, taking on passengers is uh, when the, the highway is divided by a physical barrier, whether that's a berm or a concrete barrier or some sort of nature strip in between the two highways. That's the only time that you don't. In some U.S. states, they do have um, strobe lights on top of the bus to draw the driver's attention in and note that there is, in fact, a school bus operating somewhere in their vicinity. So that's another way. All school buses in North America are yellow. Pretty tough to miss a school bus. <laughs> I mean, unless you're really daydreaming. But for the most part, know that they're going to be operating and there's a really good chance in the early morning before eight o'clock and then in the afternoon after two o'clock between two and five. And know that if you try to pass a school bus it's seen as a malicious action malicious action and that you're more or less guaranteed of being convicted in a court of law and the, the penalties are really high so don't and when you do stop for the bus stay back if you're behind the bus if you're in front again stay back a fair distance that way the children have lots of room to get across the highway if they are crossing the roadway or the highway or whatnot wherever that is question for my smart drivers have you ever seen a driver try to pass a school bus leave a comment down 
in the comment section there. All of that helps out the new drivers learning how to drive. If you like what you see here, share, subscribe, leave a comment down in the comment section as well. Hit that thumbs up button. Check out all the videos here on the channel if you're working towards a license or starting a career as a truck or a bus driver. Lots of great information here as well. Head over to the website, awesome information over there and tremendous online courses that you can purchase. I'm Rick with Smart Drive Test. Thanks very much for watching. Good luck on your road test. And remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now.